Right there guys, so I just thought I'd do a quick video um, as I've done one last week, uh, ball and plate on a 28mm um, two port. And um, I don't know if everybody knows this, but this is just what I know. Um, but basically the 28mm and, and 22mm uh, valves internally, the ball and plate for instance, are the same, so they're interchangeable. So if you've got a 28mm and you haven't got a ball and plate, then you could sacrifice a body of a 22mm one and take the head, take the um, take the guts out, and uh, and basically replace it um, and swap it over. So, if you are going to ever do that, obviously, what, first off, what you need to do is obviously isolate the system, drain it down, or cap and bung it, which is what I done in the end. Um, and then you're gonna you're gonna have these four four screws on there. Obviously, you're gonna have to remove the head anyway. So you're gonna have these four four bolts on here. Undo these, and then start draining it out. What I tend to do is loosen them all off, lift it slightly. Um, and then suck out any remainder of any waters with my wet back or put it into a bucket if you've got access um, and then you can just take this out uh, one key thing to remember is the seal um, don't do what I did and put it in but it actually fell out and I didn't realize till after and then I had to take it all back apart again when it started leaking so that was very annoying um, but other than that it's um, yeah they are the same um, but I just wanted to show everyone you know, basically what, what happens so this is your this is your off position so you can see in there you've got the ball in there which is actually pressed up against so this is your your flow through so this is actually it shut at the minute so it can't actually flow through and then when when the motor motors across it moves the uh moves the arm inside and as you can see it's moved you can see it's moved across okay and then that allows the flow through to your radiators or to your hot water cylinder whatever you whatever it's, it's serving um, now, once you've removed that, I just wanted to go through what uh, what happens when we're when we're trying to free this up because it's probably a good one to to show really because you can see that it's all crudded up inside there and it's getting a little it's getting a little bit stiff. Um, so when we're when we've got this all back together and uh, you know you want to do a job of just servicing it or you just want to um, you know free it up, then basically we want to get hold of a small flat, small little flathead now I know I've done videos on this before but I thought this would give you a good insight into why and what I'm what I'm doing it for really so we can get this off now obviously if you're in someone's airing cupboard you want to be making sure that that doesn't just happen what's just happened there it's gone flying off <laughs> but basically I'm not bothered about that right now so what, what, what I tend to do after that, so that's off, and then what I tend to do is I'll tap it down. See if it wants to go. It's a bit heavier. There we go. So tapping it in, now you can see that gap has grown in there. Okay, and then what we want to do is get some sort of lubrication. AC up, AC90 is what I've been using. Seems to be working fine. And I'll spray that up. Now, what we want that to do is penetrate through and actually start freeing up. So what I tend to do is get my grips on there and I'll move it down. So you can see that gap's really grown. So you're trying to move that lubrication into the uh, in, into the actual body there. There we go, that is lovely and free now. There we go, no resistance at all whatsoever there. So, and then obviously we want to pull it back out again. Then we want to put our little split ring back in there. I've lost mine, <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's that's basically what's happening, and that's nice and free now. And then the motor is will be strong enough then to to reuse that. But if you're replacing it, then you want to always put a new seal, always, always. And then we'll be putting it back in. There we go. There you go. You can see the ball's back in there. And that's moving lovely and freely now nice and easy um but yeah just thought i'd give you a little insight into how it you know what the insides look like if you've never done one um if you've ever got a, uh, a two port that's in a tricky position but you can get onto these four nuts or it's very tight to a cylinder for instance then you could just change the ball and plate and uh, it will get you out of trouble um there you go just a quick video, a quick video. Right, i hope that helps someone